Jack's Port is Florida's number one container port and the nation's second busiest vehicle handling port, and it plans to keep growing. The port has a new CEO, Eric Green. He's making history as the first African-American CEO of any port in the nation. Today, Channel 4's Janice Harris walked the port with Green, who says the success of it will help generations. I'm standing here at Jack's Port where we met the new CEO, Eric Green. He has a vision of growth for the port, but they're also helping manage the humanitarian crisis happening right now in Puerto Rico. Four years ago, Eric Green had a vision to become the CEO of Jack's Port, but not for the title or the pay. He loves Jacksonville and wants to see it grow. My standard is a little different. It's not about if I fail, I failed my friends, I failed the community, I failed a place I love, I failed a place that I grew up. He's leading Jack's Port in a period of growth when their channel deepening project begins in December. That's we're improving our docks to be able to take advantage of our deep water project. So it's sort of going hand in hand. The federal project will deepen the Jacksonville shipping channel to 47 feet to accommodate more cargo aboard the largest ships. We are beginning to touch every life aspect of life there is in this community and not just Jacksonville but it's for the entire region. The port imports and exports a diverse amount of cargo from vehicles and paper to refrigerated cargo. Their impact reaches as far away as Asia. Green says he's also deeply connected to this community because it's the one that he's loved his entire life. Green graduated from Rebound High School and attended college in North Carolina. He quickly returned to be a public servant in Jacksonville in 1988. He remained strong with his wife and children by his side. As a new CEO, he hasn't had time to celebrate. He's focused on work. That includes assisting the ships taking aid to Puerto Rico. And though he is making history as the first African-American CEO of a port, he says his hard work has transcended race. I think being the first African-American is a plus. I think it means a lot to my community, but I want to be looked upon as doing the job and being rewarded for doing the job. A job that he worked tirelessly for to serve the community he calls home. Green's contract should be official in the next couple of weeks. He's looking forward to the expansion of the port. In Jacksonville, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.